In our morning rounds, February is American Heart Month. Each year, more than 600,000 Americans die of heart disease. That's one in every four deaths. Heart disease is the leading cause of death for both men and women. A growing number of people are now living with artificial hearts while waiting for a heart transplant. But Ben Tracy shows us how one day a permanent fake heart may beat inside a person's chest and make donations unnecessary. There you go, there you go. Now we're rocking and rolling. You wouldn't think there was anything wrong with Lance White. Yes. Until you notice that backpack, those tubes, and that unusual sound. Are you aware of that sound at all at this point, or no. is that just white noise to you? It's white noise to me. When people tell me about it, I hear it. It's the sound of his heart beating. And the artificial heart is right here. Well, not his heart exactly. The one he was born with had to be removed when he had heart failure at age 47. He now has a total artificial heart beating inside his body. Do you feel any less human knowing that you're carrying around a machine that is pumping a fake heart inside your body? You do. In, in the beginning, you do. If it stops, you know, I'm in trouble. I don't exist anymore. Patients will have this backpack. This is what it looks like. Two artificial ventricles are implanted in the chest. They are attached to a set of tubes connected to an external battery carried around in a backpack. It pumps about 130 bursts of air per minute, replicating a rapid heartbeat. That noise is always there. When you're as young as I am, you know, you're like, okay, I don't want to turn the switch off. You know, I, just, I have a lot more life to live and I have young kids. I want to see them grow up and finish school and have kids. He's one of about 2,000 people worldwide who have ever received a total artificial heart. So we put this in place because otherwise uh, death will occur within 24, 48 hours. Dr. Francisco Arabia is a cardiothoracic surgeon at Cedars Sinai Heart Institute in Los Angeles. He says the problem is a lack of donor hearts. As many as 100,000 people in the U.S. need new hearts, but last year only about 4,000 made the wait list and little more than 2,500 received a transplant. It's a matter of having a higher demand than supply. We use the total artificial heart to give patients the time to be able to wait for the correct donor. <laughs> Lance has been waiting for almost two years. So I'm hoping this year will be my year. Patience is a virtue. Hey, my man. How, how you doing, Heather? Companies such as Syncardia are working on creating a permanent artificial heart for widespread use, something that could last for decades and one day make donor hearts unnecessary. It's no easy task. Our hearts pump about 2,000 gallons of blood every day and service more than 60,000 miles of blood vessels. How much of a game changer would it be to have an artificial heart that would be permanent? If we can develop a total artificial heart that is completely internal, that would be the true game changer. Lance will hopefully get a donor heart soon. He and his wife Lisa want this load off his back. What's the first thing you want to do once he no longer has that backpack attached to him? I want to put a basketball in his hand and take him to the gym. Because he hasn't been able to do that. And that means a lot to him. It does. But Lance has something else on his mind. I think more about wanting to meet the family, if I'm ever allowed to do that, of the person who was able to donate the heart and thank them and then let them see, you know, who I am and what they've done for me and my family, uh, that's what I think about. That's what I think about. For CBS This Morning, Ben Tracy, Los Angeles. Just incredible. Mm -hmm. I think that that's the future. I believe one day he'll be able to go to the gym. Mm -hmm. And they're going to make it so that that backpack will be so much smaller. Oh, it's interesting to see how it's going to evolve. Or be inside of him. Or be inside of him, even better.